What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's, it, this is highly requested. A little bit. So today's video, I'm finally doing the tag that has been sent to me, tweeted to me, snapped to me over and over, the I do my boyfriend's brother's makeup challenge. So, uh, hi, this is Zach. What's up everybody? AKA Young Zachary. Uh, <laughs> so of course, you guys know by now, this is Nate's younger brother. How old are you? I am 21. Just turned 21. Uh, what's, what's your sign? Capricorn. <laughs> so after I did Nate's makeup, everybody was like, okay, um, who's next? So I know it's been a long time coming. Thank you guys for being so patient, but I'm finally in town long enough to finally do this challenge. So I'm sure they're gonna ask a lot of questions at home like they, okay y'all, this hair's playing me, I'm taking this clip. A lot of people wanna know, have you ever like tried makeup for a Halloween costume? Have you ever put on makeup in general for fun, to be funny, or like ever in your entire life? Actually, this is going to be my first time ever getting a full face of makeup. <laughs> Woo! I'm lucky enough to have Jeffrey doing himself. Yes. Okay, so this is a little bit of a challenge because if you guys are at home and you already know, if someone has never put on makeup before, can their face handle it? Are the eyes gonna get crazy? What's gonna happen? But I guess that's the whole fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> so have you ever worn contact lenses? No. Fuck me, fuck my life. Okay, so the eyes might be a little tricky, but I mean, that's gonna be the fun part. So I have a lot of new makeup, a lot of old favorites that I'm gonna use today on Zach, and I think we're just gonna dive right into it and let's see what the hell happens. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so if you wanna see me transform Zach, then keep on watching. So before we start anything and before we prime, of course, we're gonna ask my makeup client, uh, what kind of skin do you think you have? Um, I think it's fairly normal, to be honest. It is pretty normal. Yeah. Um, up close, it's not oily, like, um, at all. And there's, yeah. there's not dry, there's no dry patches. So usually what I do on people, you guys, I just kind of like feel around the face. His skin honestly feels like mine, which is just a very normal and flawless and fabulous. Um, so, <laughs> I know, they're gonna read me down. Okay, so today for primer, I have something really exciting and new that we're gonna use today. This is from Farsali. You may know them from all over Instagram and they just launched in Sephora. The shit, it just looks pretty. So, they just launched this product called Unicorn Tears, AKA Unicorn Essence. And what this is, I guess, is like a serum skin enhancing like primer. So, we're gonna give it a whirl. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little here. <laughs> Oh, just got some on the jacket. Great, I always do this. You can't see it though. Oh, you can see it. When you get primer on someone's clothes, just apologize and keep it moving. And I always like to do makeup on the neck. And now we're gonna take a little Gucci foundation brush and I'm just going to blend this all into his skin and get it snatched. Okay, so prior to ever moving to California, did you take care of your skin at all? What was your skincare regimen? I mean, really just basic stuff like Soap and water? <laughs> yeah, just showering. That's it? Normally. <sighs> Lord Jesus. We've been kind of working on your skin. Oh yeah. All right, now it's time for some foundation. So this basically is gonna make your skin look fucking flawless. It's Zach. So we're gonna use the Skin Caviar Foundation with SPF 15 by La Paris. This is so amazing. And I reviewed this on my channel like a year ago almost. Oh my God. Um, and it's one of my favorite foundations. It's like amazing. Oh, actually you guys, I'm gonna mix because I mixed on myself. So this is basically like I'm gonna do how I would do my own makeup on him. And I love mixing. This is a this is a spray, so close your eyes. Ooh. Time to get that mannequin skin. He's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> we're gonna blend that out in a second. Now we're gonna put this all over you. All right, now we're gonna take a damp beauty blender and we're gonna buff this into the skin. All right, the foundation is looking laid. Look at the monitor, your skin's like mannequin. Oh, wow. Crazy, right? Now for concealer, we're gonna go in with one of my favorites, the Tarte Shape Tape. And we're about to brighten. Now, Zach really doesn't need concealer. He has like a little discoloration under the eyes, but definitely normal. So for everyone out there that doesn't know, uh, where are you from? Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, Grand Rapids. I personally love it out there. Shout out to everyone in Michigan. Oh, look at that eye, everybody. <laughs> it's already a little watering. Your eyes are like, we've never had this shit close. So we're gonna set the under eyes before they start creasing. We're gonna use the La Mer the Powder. This is oh, it's fucking the best shit on earth, really. So you see, so this is what men do, is they move their forehead a lot. <laughs> 
and you girls already know we gotta fix that creasing. All right, so today we're gonna contour to filth, and we're gonna use a little Lorac Pro contour book. Bam. I think I'm gonna go in with a medium color for him, and I'm just gonna use this little Morphe 527 brush. So now we're gonna, I mean, you're, your jeans, like your family has such straw jaws. You really don't need contour. Like your jaw could literally cut someone in half. But we're just gonna really chisel that out today. So when you were growing up, did people ever say you and Nate looked a lot alike or not until recently? Oh yeah, no, it's, we've got it our whole lives. Okay. People are always <laughs> asking if we're twins or not. Yeah, in the Botox video with Nate, so many people thought you guys were like twins. I mean, you guys look similar. The brows, the jaw, the uh, the cheekbones, mm -hmm. but I don't think you guys are like twins. Yeah, I don't know. So many people were like, did Nate just have blonde hair and then pink? And I'm like, I don't think they're that similar. All right, so uh, did you know that when you contour the nose, you can make it look smaller, longer? Now I'm using a makeup brush that had no product on it. This is just a little MAC 224 blending, one of my favorites. All right, I'm actually gonna switch my idea and just use this Makeup Forever fan brush. It's like really quick and easy. All you gotta do is like go down the nose, like really one, two, three, bam. And then to diffuse it, you guys already know I love to go back and forth with powders. And we're just gonna hit this beige color. And then we're just gonna go right over that so the lines are not as severe. But if you want a severe contour, go ahead, girl, do you. I think we're gonna do the brows quickly. And then we're gonna do a little um, highlight. What do you normally do on yourself? You just kind of tweeze sometimes? Yeah, just tweeze them, keep them up, keep. You and Nate have like prime eyebrows. They're very like, they have like <laughs> an arch already. Some people just have like caterpillars, but yours has this like, I'll kill you and your whole family vibe. <laughs> so we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Now he does have really light hair, but dark brows. So I'm gonna pick a shade that is not black or granite, this is the chocolate. Now you guys see, look in the camera a little bit, he does have a little bit of sparseness here. Is that just how your eyebrows have always been? Yeah. You didn't like get in, like hit yourself ever? Nope, no, no scars. Yeah, there's no scar. That's just how it grew. Um, all right, cool, let's fill this in. All right, so now that the brows are done, I'm just gonna make sure all the foundation and pattern, everything is just flawless. So we're gonna have you close your eyes and just do a little MAC Fix Plus, my tried and true. Feels good, right? It's amazing. Refreshing. Now we're just gonna add a tiny bit of color to Zach's cheeks, so we're gonna go in with this NARS. This is a new one, it's called Bumpy Ride. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna highlight, I'm getting the giggles, and we're gonna go in with a little Peach Goddess from this brand I've never heard of before. Do a little glow. Shine. <laughs> yeah, oh, the extreme shine. shine. Okay, but on a personal level, do you like girls that wear a lot of makeup, or do you or do you like the natural look? To be honest, I am kinda into that natural look. Yeah. I don't mind, like, if you like to get dressy up and like, <laughs> get the makeup on right. just to feel nice and pretty every now and then, but normally I would like just a little natural. more natural. Yeah. So a lot of people were tweeting me and asking me a lot of questions. So this is gonna be like a Barbara Walters interview right now. <laughs> you ready for it? Let's go. Okay, so number one most requested question is, is Zach single? I am single. Zach is single. So for everyone that can't have Nate out there, uh, DM Zach. <laughs> just kidding. But okay, um, okay, that's cool. So I mean, I mean, are you loving California? I really am. It's there's just so many different types of people out here. Like the culture is crazy, different. huh? Yeah. There's a million different cultures out here, which I think is pretty cool. It's very eclectic. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have bomb weather. Oh yeah. Com so glad to get out of the winter. Did you love the snowstorms and? Hitting ice off your windows in the morning or what? No, the only thing I liked about winter is snowboarding, but okay. other than that, yeah. I could do without. Which, you know, you can just go up two hours north. Right, and We exactly. have snow in Big Bear, which is one of my favorite spots. You haven't gone there yet. Not yet. We gotta take you. So we're gonna dip into the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette, voila. And we're gonna dip into shade Kitty Cat, which is my favorite shade from this palette. I think I'm gonna hit pan very soon. I like to wear double highlights, just gives your face an extra like, holy shit. So we are highlighted, everything looks amazing. And now we're gonna, oh my God, we're gonna say a silent prayer together and we're gonna try to do some sort of eyeshadow. So of course we have to use the new Androgyny palette. Now of course you can create so many endless smoky eyes with this, so I don't know if we're gonna get a full smoky eye out of Zach's soul today, but we're gonna try. So so we're gonna go in with, of course, the trusty paint pot painterly from MAC. This basically makes your eyeshadow stay on all day. 
without creasing. For everyone out there that doesn't know, um, Zach works at my warehouse. So if you bought a lipstick, uh, Zach's probably packed it or helped pack it. But what, what else are you into? I don't know, I'm really trying to get in the groove of things still. I'm not a huge like going out person, going to bars. I'm not a huge drinker. More of like relaxed, kind of like. We all like to stay chill. Yeah. Which I think might shock people. I think a lot of people maybe think we're like partiers or we go out all the time, but we're really like into watching movies all the time. They play a lot of video games. A little bit. What's your What's your favorite uh, game? You guys play so many games, you guys, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't have like a strict favorite. 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 I mean, old school, can Kingdom Hearts, number one, all, all See, I don't even know what that is. I'm all, Nintendo 64 for me, Donkey yeah. Kong. <laughs> Super, Super Mario? Yeah, Super Nintendo oh. was my shit back in the day. Um, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Y'all wanna fuck with me on Mortal Kombat? I'll come for you. Zach also really loves uh, music. Music festivals are the best. This summer, in June, I'm actually gonna be going to Electric Forest. It's gonna be my second year, and I am- So it's like a huge festival, right? So for no one, like, I don't really know what that is. I just kind of learned about it. So it's like a huge, it's outdoor, right? Mm hmm Okay. And what do you do? There's like a bunch of different stages. Yep, show up, set up your tent. There's like fields of tents. Then you actually get to walk all the way to the gates to get into the venues. Oh, and so you then... camp outside of the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my God. I'm not, can I, oh, I can't go. I'm doing VidCon this year, everybody. If you didn't already know, um, that's just a quick announcement. I will be doing panels and guest speaking at VidCon in Anaheim, California. Or I would be going with you, because that sounds really bomb. Yeah. I know y'all don't think I uh, can be in a tent in the wilderness, but I've camped before. It's fun. It's a yeah. cool experience, and you get to meet a lot of new people. Yeah. So we're going to dip into Shade Charm, and let's see what happens. Okay, look down. This will probably be easy, because I don't think your eyes are going to water. Looking down, you never know. So yeah, just chill right there, and let's see what happens. If you guys didn't know, you, you can of course use any powder for eyeshadows. I love using contour sometimes for a crease, but I'm just gonna use this light uh, highlighting shade to diffuse. Okay, now you guys, we are going to deepen the crease a little bit. Now, look down, see his eyes, you guys? They're not like as sunken in as mine or like as deep set, but they are a little deep set, but they also come out. It's almost like it's a little tricky. So with this, we're gonna take this tiny little Cosette brush and then we're gonna dip into shade Dominatrix really lightly. Okay, so we are just going to blend this in. It's coming together. So we're just gonna go back in with Charm and just kind of soften that. All right, now we are going to add some of this glitter that's on my lid. It just looks pretty baller. This is the Rose Gold Retro Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. This is from Stila, I'm obsessed with these. I think the whole internet is. If you have not tried them out yet, I am obsessed. I can't stop wearing them. Now, I'm just gonna apply this with the wand. Fuck it, right? Mm -hmm. back. Looks cool, it's like blinding. Okay, so a lot of people, this is like the main event question, which I think is so annoying, but People wanna know, what's your sexuality? Are you straight, are you, what are you? To be honest, I'm not really into the whole like genderfying people's feelings and emotions. I don't really think that's huge. But... Right, everyone always wants a label, which gets so annoying. Yeah. Cause you know me and Nate deal with that all the time. I do definitely all the time. And I feel like people just like crave labels. Yeah. Well, I'm attracted to women, but I feel like anything can really happen. Like emotions and feelings can happen between anybody. And definitely. Really, down the road, like who am I to say what I'm gonna like down the road? Right, you can't predict life really. Exactly. I mean, I think your brother's a good example. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people also were asking like, uh, what did Zach uh, think when Nate first said like, hey, like I'm dating Jeffrey. Like, you know, how did it first come about, if you don't mind me asking? I'm just gonna be looked down too. Yeah. At first, I didn't actually know anything about you. Don't I wasn't me. really <laughs> <laughs> into the whole MySpace thing, so I wasn't really there for that. I was a little shocked just because he's been with women. Like, his entire life. Exactly, so I was- Which some people don't believe. I'm like, Nate's only dated women before me. Yeah. So it was probably a little shock to yeah. hear like, hey, so what did Nate say? Like, hey, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm going to California. Instantly went into like, protective mode, make sure like who it was, like he's not flying out to see some random person. Yeah, like, some little hoe on online. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then when he, when he showed you me yep. and you're like, oh, like that's not a chick, right? Yeah. right? What was your first thoughts? To be honest, I was just taken back, but he seemed really happy, so like, yeah. I was just happy for him. I really wanted to go out and find out, like find someone he actually liked. Yeah, so then when he came home like the first few times, how was it? Like, did you ask him anything or are you just like, hey, of I had course. a good time? I had so many questions. Just... Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could have been the fly on the wall, like an interview. I just got the sense that you guys really like connected. 
I can yeah. tell just from being out here, you guys are really like the same person. Like, yeah, <laughs> I can see each other in both of you, yeah. and I love it. I love the connection. Like, cool. I feel the vibes. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Did you like ever have a talk with your parents about me ever, or like, what did they think about me before I met them? Because once I met them, they were so chill and non-judgmental, really cool, so normal, and you guys all made me feel like. I was at home the first time I ever came over, and I was a little scared, like, obviously I'm walking into right. normal family, like, when I say normal, you know what I mean, I've seen some gothic mothers out there online, y'all are crazy, but like, you know, just a normal family, and I'm like, you know, I've, I'm a little different, so I didn't know what to expect when I first flew to, to Michigan. Honestly, yeah, I thought the same thing, I wasn't really sure how they would react, <laughs> but... <laughs> I like pretty much just waited it out. I wanted to see the reaction myself, just like you, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, I don't know. It was cool. It turned out really well, yeah. All right, half the battle's over. So, liner and the waterline. Oh my God, you guys, pray. Everyone needs to pause this video and say a prayer before whatever happens next. All right, now we're gonna attempt to do a little bit of under eye shadow. So we're gonna go back into the androgyny palette and we're gonna play with charm and fetish. And I'm gonna use tiny brushes. Let's see what happens. If your eye starts to water or hates me, just let me know. You're like, yep, like right now. Yep, already <laughs> Okay, so normally you're not around like crazy beauty lights, and I have a lot of fucking lights here. <laughs> so we're gonna turn off a few. We're probably gonna like look really um, like silhouette-y, but I'm just gonna see what happens if we turn off some of the lights. And then, ooh, look at that highlight though, bitch. What? <gasps> Work. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's have you look up. Any light bothering you yet? No? Mm -hmm. Let's try to get a little bit of charm under here, and then we'll call it a day for this step. The waterline, I already know you guys, it's not happening. But we'll we'll just, you know, we'll do it for a laugh. We're just gonna try it, you guys, just for fun. <laughs> now I am going to take a little bit of the smm. I love this color pop liner. Probably not gonna go on your eye, but hey, we're gonna give it a whirl. Here we go, this is uh, gonna be interesting. <laughs> your eye's like, no bitch, back up! His, his waterline's even hard to pull down, you guys. It's like not having it. So I think that's all we're gonna get out of that eyeliner. Um, you did a good job though. It's fucking hard. Yeah, I'm trying. All right, <laughs> lights on. Bam! Now I wanted to do more on the lash line, like maybe a little bit of a little bit of dominatrix, maybe a little bit of fetish. So we're just gonna do this really quickly before Zach kills me. So we're just gonna have you look up. Cool, all right, now the only part of the eye that we have left is mascara. I'm fucking, the bottom won't mascara, I don't even know if that's possible, but we're gonna attempt to put on the top mascara. All right, so now we're gonna attempt some bottom mascara. Your eyes feel a little heavy? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right, before we finish the eyes, I'm actually just gonna do a little bit of that inner corner highlight. It's like a little bit of extra blinding, and I'm gonna go back into the um, Nicole Guerrero Anastasia moment. So this brush is just gonna go in the inner corner of your eye really quickly. One more time, look up, and then your eye is done being abused. All right, you guys, so since this look is a little similar to mine, I'm gonna go in with the Tom Ford Blush Nude Lipstick. This is uh, what I'm wearing today. Now Tom Ford has one of, like, I think one of the best lipstick formulas. I love it, it is gorgeous. Now let's see what happens. All right, now I think to complete this look, we are gonna do a little bit of some gloss. So I'm gonna go in with the Jouer Cosmetics Lip Topper and Shade Skinny Dip. Bam, so besides that, we are going to do some setting spray, and this look is almost complete, you guys. I can't believe it. All right, so you're just gonna close your eyes, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna set this makeup. Watch the hair. This will feel a little cooling. Bam, we're gonna give you a quick shower, and we're just gonna let that soak in. Whew. All right, you guys, we made it through. We made it through this journey. How do you uh, how do you feel? What's your overall thoughts, opinions? Comment section down below. <laughs> I can't imagine people trying to do this every day. <laughs> it's a little much for me. Yeah, uh, a little heavy on the eyes. Yeah. So now we all know that Zach is not into uh, makeup around the eyes, which is great since I don't know, unless we do another video, or it's Halloween, I don't picture Zach wearing makeup. But, it was a fun experience. Yeah, definitely. Um, you actually beat your brother because that motherfucker shed some damn tears. Zach did not, he beat the challenge of no tearing up. Thank you, Jesus. So you were, you sat really nice. Yeah. You are great. So thank you so much for coming on my channel. Thank you for having me. Of course. And um, if you guys want, I mean, Zach, you don't have, what, what do you have that people could follow you on? You have Instagram and Snapchat really, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a Twitter. I'm not a huge tweeter though, so I wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you have and you don't have a YouTube channel. There's already people making fake Nate and um, Zach profiles all over on every social media. So be careful. And if it's not linked through us, it's a fake one. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Mwah. See you guys. Bye, guys.